If you ever want to know, how much does my husband know about wine? Here's a very good example. Hi, this is Alex. I'm Trina's husband. She requested me to do a voiceover for her video. And I have no clue what is this video about. So here goes my voiceover. In this video, I am Trina. Okay, let's play. Hello, wonderful people. Uh, my name is not Wana, Tuna, but Trina. Thanks to my husband, I created this introduction. So, today I'm going to talk about the five wine glasses on the table. Uh, so, each of them, one, two, three, four, five, you can count. Okay, so what are the five wine glasses about? Uh, do you really need five wine glasses? Uh, what are the difference? I'm going to sh show you. Okay, first, let's look at the wine glasses. You see they are different heights. So that is the first difference. Okay, why they are so different? Why they are so different height? Okay, there's a reason. I'm going to talk about individually. Okay, so why? Why the difference? Why? Okay. So, there is a big difference, a big secret behind, perhaps. So, let's jump into the first one. This is called tiny but mighty. Small wine glass. Uh, look at it, it's so sparkly, so nice. Yay! Okay, this wine glass, um, it's not common and it is really a good wine glass why you see it's really solid because it's small tiny but mighty and most important thing is if you use this to serve wines to your friends or your guests because it's small you pour a little bit of wine it already looks a lot so you will really impress them and people think that you are really generous. The truth is, that is the trick of the wine glass. Look at it, it's so small. And put a little bit. Oh, it looks a lot. So that is the first glass. The second one. Ooh, this looks like the wine glass I bought from IKEA or Daiso, whichever. Okay, so this wine glass is strong. But it looks cheap. Look at it, cheap. See, you shake it, you already feel it's cheap. Ah, uh, you hear that? That's the sound of cheapness. So, the first one, see? Ah, uh, sounds better because it is more expensive. The second one looks bigger, but it is cheaper. Okay, let's look at the third one. The third one, look at it. Ooh, looks nice. Oh, and this is impressive. See, hear that? That is the sound of expensive glass. Oh, look at it, sexy. Hold it, it looks classy. And look at it. If you use this to drink wine glass, you, you look like a pro. Okay, it's light. You can hold it in your hand and feel it. Okay, so now we move on to the fourth. Look at the fourth and fifth. They look big. Okay, the first and fourth. Maybe they are the same material. So, look at this. It's thin. It's big. And it seems like also looks professional drinking wine with this. And look at it. Uh, let's hear the sound again. See? Ooh, it sounds expensive. Here again, uh, it's, it's the sound of expensive. Uh, look at it, sparkly as well. Ooh. Look at it, sexy. Okay, let's look at the fifth one. The fifth one is so big. Whoa, look at it. Probably can fit 
one whole bottle of wine in a single glass, maybe half a bottle. Okay, the weight is different between the fourth and fifth, and it's so big. Why? Why? There's a reason to it, but I'm going to tell you later. So, five glasses, all different sizes. So, why are they different apart from the same height? A uh, different height. Okay, I'm going to show you with ooh, a bottle of wine. I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to open, I'm going to pour the wine. And ooh, look at the label. This is a good wine that I prepared for today's video. Let's take a closer look. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, it is a good wine because um, Pinot Noir is really hard to grow and if someone serves you a Pinot Noir, remember you must say it is good. You don't like it, you also say it's good because it's really hard to grow and it is expensive, some of them. So remember Pinot Noir is good and I'm going to use this good wine, this Pinot Noir to test, put the wine glasses to a test and see what is the difference um, the, uh, in the taste, the aroma, and everything else. I'm going to open. Opening. Oh, I'm going to look at the label again. And, okay, screw cap. Oh, my favorite uh, cap because I can just twist and open. I don't need a corkscrew and embarrass myself in front of my friend and guests. And I'm going to use a drop stop aluminum drop stop so this way I will not spill any wines and I'll still look like a professional so I'm going to pour the fifth one first see I need to pour so much just to look uh, there are some wine in it the fourth one slightly lesser ooh this just a little it looks like very nice this looks cheap this one you see, a little bit, it's already one quarter. Look at it. Look generous, right? I just pour maybe two mouthful of wine in it. And it's already makes me look like a very generous host or friend. So this is really good. Uh, let's remember that. Okay, I'm going to smell it. Okay, drink wine. Always smell... Uh, knows it the wine people call it you see nothing much difference so no okay nothing much nothing special but you need to smell it even though it is nothing special uh, that is how you taste wine the first step then after that you swirl it and you take a sip mm, then you pretend to analyze the wine and then you need to say something about the taste. Like, oh, it comes up from, it, when it goes into my mouth, it has this uh, certain aroma, like strawberry, cherry. Okay, drink some water. More water, you can drink. With more water, you can drink more wine. Okay, this one. See? Cheap. Okay, so nothing different. Nothing special compared to the first one. And it smells ugh, not nice. What kind of smell is that? Hmm. Okay, but swirl it and take a sip. Yeah, it's not not different. Yep. Uh, uh, looks like a bit off. What? What is this? Okay. Let's look at the third one. Ooh, see, looks nice. I swirl it. Oh, you, you can see it looks so professional swirling. It looks so nice in the camera. See, I can swirl and I can talk shit and then it's, I still look very professional. Okay. Don't swirl like an idiot. Swirl it nicely. Circular motion. I'll not shake it. You are not James Wan. So, nose it, smell it. So again, okay, say something about the aroma. Strawberry, cherry, tropical fruits, something like that. 
that makes you sound smart. Okay, taste it. Hmm, analyze it. Think about something smart. Oh, so so so. First one, second one, third one. The taste. Hmm, similar. Okay, fourth. The fourth glass. Ooh, looks big. And let's swirl again. Nose it. Okay. Sometimes you need to smell it a little longer. Makes people think that you really know your wines. So we can then you can talk something smarter. Or else you look like an alcoholic. You want to look like someone who knows wine. So Okay, taste it. Take a sip. Hmm. Analyzing. Data loading. Okay, you can taste in your mouth. There's some difference in it. Finally, I tasted something a bit different on the fourth glass. It's pleasing. Okay, let's look at the fifth one. Ooh, looks big. Sometimes size does matter. Okay. Knows it. Take some time. Breathe in all the aroma. Say something smart. Yada yada. Okay, knows it again. Oh, is that is that a, a face of uh, like cha? Okay. Sit. Take a sit. Pull in some oxygen, some air. Mm. This is also good. Different, different wines. Uh, same wine in different, different glass. So I can't tell what are the big. What, is there any big difference between all five of them? But this tiny and mighty is is a good wine glass. And this for fun also good. I think this is also a good one. And remember, all five of them is good. Although the difference, there are not much of difference. But it is important. You need to get all. You see the my hand sign. Get all of them. And you don't need to buy yourself. You just need to get your husband or boyfriend to buy for you, because that is how you get your wine glasses. Like how I get my husband to get my wine glasses. You need all five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So no excuses for them. Just get them to buy all five. Why? Because they need. You need it. One, two, three, four, five. All five. Get all of them. Get them to pay for it. If they don't, if you don't know how to get them to get all five of them, ask them to watch my video, and I will show you what is the difference. But uh, if one and fourth, if they don't have enough budget, get the first one and the fourth glass. The IKEA glass that us or Daiso, whichever that I'm holding, looks cheap. Don't get that. Don't don't get it. Do not get it. If you don't, you don't have the budget. But if you have the budget, get all five of them. It is important. It is not about the difference of the wine taste. It is you have five different wine glasses to show. Bye bye. That's all.